So I picked these up on a whim really quick and let's, uh, let's check them out. Hello everybody, I'm David and welcome to my channel where I do DIY projects that are renewable energy and energy efficiency. In this case, I'm going to be talking about some lithium iron phosphate cells that I bought from Battery Hookup. Now I paid full price minus my discount code which is David Paz, which gets you 10% off. And I bought these just like everybody else would. They had a half of a pallet, very little quantity of these cells. So there was no time to make a video before they sold out. I'm really sorry about that. I think they sold out in just like three hours of these things. Lithium iron phosphate, which is a nominal voltage of 3.2 volts, and they're 60 amp hour. They're still brand new in the original boxes, but they've been sitting around for a while. All right, let's check out what our voltages are straight out of the pack without doing anything. So we're gonna have 3.328. So the highest cells are 3.330, and the lowest cell was 3.325. So a five millivolt difference right out of the gate. Wow. If you multiply the nominal voltage by the amp hours, you have 192 watt hours per cell. I have 16 cells here. So this is a three kilowatt hour pack. Each one of these cells is about one and a half inches wide. It is eight inches tall to the top of the stud, and it is five and an eighth inch wide. Small three kilowatt hour package, uh, which is really cool for lithium iron phosphate. I've just rearranged these cells into a nice square shape. It's really condensed this way, and I found this milk crate that I had outside, and this thing fits them pretty well if I just slip it on just like that. So I think that's what I'll do. So first thing, I'll cut a piece of plywood to fit in as a base in here. Then I, then I can move on to creating some little bus bars to jump in between these. I ordered online a bag of these nuts. They're M10 by 1.25 and they're flanged head. These are serrated flanged nuts. Now these are zinc coated and some people would prefer stainless steel, including myself. But keep in mind that even when electric vehicles are built, like the Chevy assembles these types of modules at, inside a vehicle, they're using all the hardware that came on this from Chevy was all zinc coated. It's not stainless steel. So if it's good enough for an EV application, I'm sure it's good enough for my little DIY power wall project. Just cut up this piece of three quarter inch plywood. Let's see how well it fits. This is a copper pan that I had made for my house back when I had a electric water heater upstairs. I since then made a solar thermal tank down in the crawl space and this became obsolete. It has a uh, brass fitting here that's soldered on to the copper. And I did try to sell this, uh, but nobody was interested in buying it. So I'm gonna cut it up and make some bus bars out of it. find out how thick it is. 0 0.035. I'm currently stacking up these cells inside the crate. I have it on the side to just keep them tight together. We have positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative. So they're all alternating because these will be in series with each other. Now I have them on the side because there's a sheet of plywood down on the bottom that they're pressing up against. So next I need to put in the second row. I need to make sure that if we're series connecting them over here, this one can jump up to the next. Or vice versa, it doesn't really matter. 
but here's a negative so when I put in the next one I'll put it in like this so we have a negative which will jump up to the positive and now I can alternate them going down the other way here we go so I screwed that up so these will need to be flipped positive negative positive negative next I'm gonna I have some of these just pieces of hard board so I can put that in try this one and I'm just doing this to take up the vibration Without, I might have to shave the corners on this to make it fit well. Yeah, well, I think they all fit in nicely there. Okay, let's flip it over. Where to begin? Well, I have one long strip, so I'm going to begin just at either side. It doesn't really matter which is which. And get it on here. There we go. And so now I can alternate and jump up. Oh no. fifty three point two seven volts and this assembly is sixty six point eight pounds sixty six point eight pounds sixty six point eight pounds for this assembly now this is roughly going to be about three kilowatt hours I'm excited to test this but in the next video on this battery we're going to add a BMS, and I'm really excited about the BMS for this battery. Now, I'll leave a link in the description below, but this BMS is called Tiny BMS. <laughs> Appropriate, right? Uh, but this BMS has so many really cool functions, and I want to test all these little functions, uh, but this should be able to do quite a lot of stuff, and I'm really excited to try it out. Thank you everybody very much for watching. If you enjoy the videos, please like, subscribe, comment, share. Well, that was a quick and easy way to make about a three kilowatt hour lithium iron phosphate battery. Now these batteries aren't available anymore from Battery Hookup, but they always have some very cool batteries that pop up now and then. If you decide to go buy some for yourself, uh, please use my coupon code, that's David Paz, and that gets you 10% off and helps me out with the affiliate program Thank you everybody very much for watching.